correct term for the condition is called Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, otherwise known as ADHD. There's actually two components of the disorder. Um, a child can present predominantly with problems in attention, so that these are the children that seem like they're daydreaming in class, seem more spacey, confused, they miss a lot of details, and just in general don't seem like they're catching on. And then there's another subtype under the header of ADHD, and this is called predominantly hyperactive impulsive children. These are children that are more of the maturically active, they're always on the go, hyperactive, restless, seem kind of unsettled all the time. And then thirdly, you can meet criteria for ADHD by having various components of both. Well, we definitely feel that ADHD is a brain-related or a neurologically-based medical condition. We're comparing groups of people with ADHD on various neuroimaging tasks to other people that do not have ADHD, and we are actually seeing that different parts of the brain are underutilized um, compared to children and individuals without ADHD. The diagnosis of ADHD is largely based on what's called behavioral ratings forms. And these are forms that are completed by parents and by teachers in the school system. What they're basically doing is rating that child's behavior based on the criteria that has already been set forth in the field for a diagnosis of ADHD. The child must meet six or more, and there's nine of the symptoms of inattention, um, or six or more um, of the symptoms of hyperactivity, impulsivity, to meet those various subtypes. Inherent in that diagnosis of ADHD, the child must be meeting those symptoms in um, at least two settings, such as home and school. By and large, I, I think the consistency of the diagnosis is usually made as children enter the school systems, definitely by age six. In terms of the current treatment, they all are treated along the same line pharmacologically with the, um, with, with the primary um, drug of, you know, first line of choice being the psychostimulants. And so there's um, huge dopamine receptors in various parts of the brain that um, we believe that that medication is working on these neurotransmitter systems to help that child with ADHD better focus pay attention. But there are a great many non-pharmacological approaches to treatment of ADHD. In fact, studies um, funded by NIMH, the National Institute of Mental Health, actually has revealed that it's the combination of medication along with some of these behavioral treatments that really work best in um, trying to help the child with ADHD. There's um, a lot of websites out there, such as CHAD, Children and Adults with Attention Deficit Disorder. That's a very good website for parents to learn more about attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And, you know, parents owe it to themselves to go into their insurance plans and call psychologists to see, do you specialize in ADHD? Do you specialize in the testing and the management, the behavioral management of ADHD?